What is up guys, it is Nick. We are back on Black Desert Online. We got our daily rewards, attendance rewards are up. So we grabbed, uh, is this armor? Yeah, this is the armor blackstones today. Uh, we'll have some smooth silk tea tomorrow. Let's pop that off the screen. Move this, move this stuff down out of my inventory. And we can begin our episode. So... This is not going to be a boss episode, this is just kind of an episode, because we are on to the level 51 and above quest. So if you go into the quest here, head to the main quest, we have all of these that we can do. Dark energy that looms, I think is what that says, a dark energy that something. But uh, our first quest here is the temple in the east, and so we need to talk to Herman Fariseo. Uh, will adventure Yennefer. So it was you who mentioned seeing the woman imbued with black energy at Calfian Shrine. I've reached, I received reports that you were chasing after her. If she is who I think she is, you should consider her to be extremely dangerous. Are you aware of the lands known as Medea? We believe the woman you're after may in fact be the infamous Witch of Medea. Medea, known as the Kingdom to the East, is a wasteland no one considers as having much worth. It is also filled with magic, curses, and barbarians. You would do well to be careful once you're in those lands. Our sources also tell us that the Ganellis of Camasilvia are building Camasilv Temple, somewhere in the, to the east of Hydel. A white-haired witch and a band of women worshipping a white tree. I cannot help but be suspicious. What could what what, blah, 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 what could they be planning now? Find out more about the witch Medea and why the Ganels from Camasilvia are there. I'd go and investigate myself, but certain diplomatic sensitivities make it rather difficult for me to do so. If you're planning to chase after the witch by going to Medea, can you first find where Camasilv Temple is located? Yes, yes I can. You cannot take, really, I can't take any more quests. Alright, go into my quest. Let me... Let me ditch this. Don't care about that quest. Okay, let's accept this quest, Amendments and let's get on going. I don't know, actually, how far we gotta go. Probably, probably a fair way as my game freezes up. Yeah, we gotta go all the way over here. I actually went here trying to figure out how to get this quest to work, and so... Yeah, I, uh, I have gone out here, but I uh, haven't done anything with it quite yet. So, I needed to get to level 51 to start these quests. Um, I was trying to do them at, like, 50 and a half, and then I realized, you know, obviously I have to get to level 51. Only, you know, logically makes sense if they're level 51 and above quests. Uh, so I got to level 51, I grinded the, Calf or the Serendian Shrine people for like um, an hour or 45 minutes or something like that. And it got me the 45% that I needed to level up. So that puts us at level 51. And now I'm pretty much going to be doing most of these quests on camera. I might skip one from time to time. There's 27, rebuilding the Merchant's Guild is 60. I mean, I don't think I need to do all of these, but there aren't a whole lot of bosses in these. I mean, there's one, two, three there's three in the 60 quest thing in the 60 quest chain and like the 43 so we got three four five six oh, this one has a little bit more six we're at six seven eight eight Eight. There, there's some other bosses mixed in here, so it's it's probably close to like 12 or 13 or 14 or 15 or something like that. There's obviously some in here, but yeah, there's is there only one? Yeah, there's only one. So yeah, there's. Oops, not what I wanted to do. Hold on, let me shrink all of these back down. I wanted to shrink them down, but hold on, to reselect that and continue. Uh, so I want to do all of those quests, um, but I think in order to have content and make sure that I uh, have plenty of content for you guys. I am going to record a lot of these that don't have anything related to, like, a boss. Because, you know, obviously most of this we've had bosses and then stuff like that. Most of the, Actually, every episode, I think, for Yennefer, we've had a boss. Uh, so this will be the first episode without a boss, which is kind of interesting. It's our very first Yennefer non-boss episode. Thought, I actually thought this wouldn't be... What the heck? 
Guy's got a freaking caravan following him. But uh, I thought it would be a while before we actually had an episode without a boss on Yennefer. I thought it would be like late game, or not late game, like end game content where I'm doing like sea monster fights and all of that different stuff, but actually going to be a lot earlier than that. We're at the level 51 plus quests. I don't know what the actual level cap... I think the level cap is 60 on console and it's going to be raised later. Because um, that's not the level cap. I remember... I'm going to go over the new characters that are coming because we know who they are now. So I'll go over that uh, in a video coming up real soon. I just got to get all caught up. Um, I've had a lot of stuff going on because I'm going to be getting new floors in my room. And so I had to start taking stuff out of my room. I still need to probably take more stuff out, but... I'll get to that soon enough. But yeah, I'm just like barely getting these episodes out. I'm, I'm not like running short, but I, I get like the, just the appropriate amount of episodes recorded every day, essentially. You're seeing this hours after I'm recording it. I'm not like super crazily ahead anymore. Some days, like some of the witch ones, I was a couple days ahead, but I'm not ahead on that anymore. I need to record that tonight for tomorrow. Because obviously that and the Final Fantasy, those go up every day um, in the morning. So I can't wait till the afternoon to record those. Unless I'm recording for the next day. Which which doesn't ha which isn't happening really. I'm having to record late at night. Um might have to go every other day on one of those series, but we'll we'll see. We'll see. We'll have to see. Had to fill this time talking about something because this is this is a freaking trek and a half. We're not even like there yet. I'm gonna take over. I'm gonna manually. I'm gonna do some manual manual running so that we can cut through some stuff. I wish we could permanently sprint because that would sure help this out a lot. I wish if you were on the road, it would let you permanently sprint instead of um, making you recharge your stamina. Uh, I have to go to the bridge. That's the big sad. <laughs> Essentially save zero time there. Thought I was going to get to save some time there by going, cutting across that field, but ended up I had to go to the, had to go to the bridge anyway. Like I have this stupid alternate. Quest. Do I just one-shot these guys? Yep, I just one-shot them. <laughs> Could do those quests, but they literally probably give me garbage rewards. It's probably not even not even worth considering. Okay, well, this isn't even going any faster by me being off the road, so I'll just let it auto-run. Let's see. Let's check the Pearl Shop. They've been adding new stuff every day, which is the big tragic. Um, I don't think they added anything new, though. None of this... Yeah, none of this is new. That's good. We're, we're not adding stuff, like, every single day. Um, let's check out my central market. Did I sell? Oh, I sold it. Let's go. These actually sell. So I have $27 million now. That's good. We can do some stuff now. And I also have these Blackstone weapon and armor things chilling in there. But that is what I'm talking about. We finally got one of the, We got that thing to sell. So that means we're going to go to Pearl Shop and I'll buy another one. And I'm going to sell it. Because I have the I have the pearls. I don't know which character is the most popular. I guess maybe I might go sorceress. I guess go with the sword. In case it doesn't sell, this is the one I bought. So let's buy. Let's buy this one. Let's purchase this one and sell it. Because then, if it doesn't sell, I don't own that already. So it's fine. Wish, can I? I wish I could post for to the cent. I think you can post. I can post the central market if it's already in the market, but I can't post the market if it's not in the market already. But we'll get to that late. I'll get to that probably off screen. Um, but now we can buy Blackstones. Ooh, there's a bunch of armor ones. I'm going to put in a purchase for some of these. I'm going to put in a purchase for. Hey, we have some money now. We put in a purchase for 20. And desired price. I'll pay the max price. Just to get some bought. And then, let's see here. Let's get some armor ones. Let's see here. Let's try to get 30 of the armor ones. They're a little bit cheaper. Actually, I'm going to go for 40 of the armor ones. Oops, clear. Actually, let's go for 50. Let's go for 50. That's a cool 10 mil. It still leaves us a little bit of... Fl ee, ee. Nah, let's go 40. I like that better. 40. 
So, bid complete on those. We still got $12 million. Probably pick up either armor or what eh, we got we should probably go for armor what do i need the most out of my armor um talisman's actually pretty good armor like regular armor piece I actually have some decent stuff probably yeah probably in need of a better ring than this increases our accuracy probably either belt shoes or a ring so let's take a look at that. Belt, shoes, or ring. I'm going to let my stamina recharge here, and then I can do that. How close are we getting? We're, we're getting there. We're getting there. Okay, so let's take a look. Central market. Let's see here. Belt. Look at all the callus belts. Um, 37 million. Someone actually has one of these up. That's insane. That is insane to me. Someone has one of, someone has one of those. Crazy. Um, 2 million, what is this? 3 attack instead of 4 defense. Really not that much better. 5 attack. It's really not that much better. Ring? Let's see. There was a ring that I wanted. Was it this one? Maybe? Or no, it was this. I think it was one of these shrine guardian tokens that gives 5 defense. Ooh, the outlaw's ring. Actually pretty good, but in there, none available. I would buy that outlaw ring. I'm going to buy one. Hold on. I'm going to buy one of these outlaw rings in case someone posts it up. Because that's actually a really good ring that I would 100% take. Mark of the Shadow. Yeah, there's there's a couple of these up for eight, 80 million. How much does this do? 15? I'm looking forward to trying to min-max my character just in terms of points, I guess. But So, shoes. I guess we got to look at shoes. Is there any really good shoes? There's no shoes for sale. Um, what were the shoes? I have Zareth. Yeah, I'm doing Zareth, I think. 24 million for plus 15. I could get a plus. Uh, actually, I'd have to cancel some stuff. All right, let's cancel. Let's cancel. We can get... Let me cancel... Let me cancel five of these. Is that enough? Is that actually enough? 5, 12... Yeah, I think I need to cancel 5 more. So we'll get 30 of those. And then armor, shoes, Zareth, plus 13. Do I have to pay max prey? I'll just... Whatever. I just want it. Give me one. There we go. Purchase complete. Can't get them out. We'll have to get them out later, because I can't get them out now. So I'll have to wait, and I'll get them out... I'll get them out soon enough, but this is nice. We'll have these purchasing. I was uh, That was well worth it to me, I think. I was able to kind of min-max my character a little bit better, but uh, we need to... We found it. Do we need to talk to her? Heroine? May you be the Knowledge the Giant? No. All right. I'm, I'm assuming I got to talk to you. There we go. Yennefer, it is good to see you again. You've come to the right place. This is Camasilv Temple. Okay, the temple roots. You wish to know the purpose of this temple? It seems we have piqued the curiosity of the Kalos Parliament. I suppose the Kalos Chairman fears that the temple was built for the purpose of forming stronger military ties with Serendia or Medea. Please understand the temple is completely neutral in this regard. The people of Camasil only wish for peace in these lands. Have you heard of a place they call Medea, located to the east? Recently, a black energy engulfed Medea, making the lands barren. The wild animals that once guarded the forest have become violently aggressive and now attack all who cross their path. Heroin, the head priestess of this temple, observed the changes occurring in Medea from afar. You seem to have more than passing interest in a recent event. Would you like to talk to Heroin yourself? Yes, I would. Okay, so I need to go talk to Heroin. Yennefer, your journey from Calpheon must have been a long and difficult one. I am Heroin, the head priestess of Camasilv Temple. How is a stranger such as yourself in a place like this? This is surely no coincidence. You are correct. Temple but enough pleasantries. That look on your face tells me you're here for a reason. Perhaps this, too, is the will of Sylvia. How else would an outsider such as yourself be able to enter our temple? What are you looking for? Luck wasn't on your side. Okay. But you learn about the witch possessed by dark energy learn about the changes in Medea and learn about the Camasilv temple I have to select this quest you do that 
Okay. So ask about the Witch of Darkness. Have you ever heard the name Elezra? She's a powerful witch who wields the dark energy. I'm sure she's the one you saw at Ka Kazarka Shrine. Nobody knows what she plans to do with the evil she's brought to our world. One thing for certain, though, is that many have suffered terribly because of her. Many have lost their families and even more have lost all hope. She has truly become evil incarnate. Maybe Ask about Medea. The witch plunged the kingdom of Medea into three days of darkness. It led to the fall of Medea and nearly its complete annihilation. The kingdom has been trying to rebuild ever since, but people are still suffering from the aftermath and the tainted taint of dark energy continues to stain the land. Uh, ask about the Camel Silve Temple. We saw the changes from afar, so we're sent to purify the land. We brought with us a bunch of Camel Silve, the sacred tree, and tried to plant it in Medea, hoping that its holy power and the light of the divine goddess would cleanse the land of the dark taint. Sadly, the sacred tree would not take root in the lands further east because of the dark energy that covered it. This was the closest we could build our temple. <laughs> okay, so let's complete that. If you are planning to pursue Elezra, tracking the darkness would be the fastest way to uncover her whereabouts. The fact that the sacred tree cannot take root here means that an ominous dark power has spread underground. Go to Hock and Dirk, the overseer of activities in the underground lava cave. I'm certain he'll give you the information you will find uh, useful during your travels. Alright, so we need to go to Omar Lava Cave. Omar Lava Cave to meet Hock and Dirk. Those are quite some names we're dealing with here. How far away is my dude? Eh, a little bit of ways out here. So these are all different ship stations. So we're getting close to like, not ocean, but we're getting close to like water. Um, Cause where was that other boat? There's a boat somewhere else that I saw. Uh, uh, maybe it moved. Yeah, there it is. It's moving right now. All right, so we need to find where is the closest um, marketplace person? I just want to see. Eh, back in Heidel. Not worth it. Not worth it at all. Quests back to back to our main quest. We gotta go back 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 to Questin. What do we got here? We got a town here. I'm sure there's. This just looks like a farm, not really a town. See if it'll pick it up by me just running by it. There's Maine's hideout. Um, hold on. I'll go in here. There's got to be a node. There's got to be a node in here, so let me go in here and talk. Yep, knew there would be a node manager. If Grab that, work, and we can get way. back on the road. But I just know I, I got to grab the nodes while I'm running past them. I mean, it only makes sense. Probably a node down here as well. But I mean, while we're out, ooh, ooh, what is this over here? Over to our left looks like there's like a actual city. Hold on, I want to check this out. What is, what the, an armadillo? I want to check this out real quick because if this is a place where I can get my boots out that I just bought, that would be great. I didn't even check the status of those boots. I just bought the boots, so probably should have checked the stats on the boots. Let's see. Let's see how much better they are. So my thing was 10. What are they? This is like major... Oh, okay, they're 29. It's a little bit better. And I have two items from the set, so it should do plus 200. I need to pick up um, one more thing so I can do plus 5 damage to everything. Um, did we actually... Alright, I bought 20 of those. Nice. We got, we got 20 black stones for weapons, so I might be able to get my weapon to plus 15. How do I... Wait, I got a Grunnel helmet plus... What? I mean, once I upgrade my Xerath helmet to plus uh, 13, it'll be better. But, wow. Where did I get a plus 13 helmet drop from? Okay. Well, that's kind of... That's a little bit insane to me. I'll take it. I'm not... I ain't gonna complain, but... It's a little bit crazy. I doubt there is what I'm seeking here. Um, no, but there's one... There's a big city over here. At least we know that. Okay, but let's continue our quest. Um, how, where are you trying to take me? Okay, you know what? I'll I'll auto-map myself there. I'll, I'll take myself there, and uh, then I'll let you auto-path once we get back to the road, because I don't want to run backwards. Warfare... Ooh, he hello? Who are you? 
Rock spirit. Are you hostile? Yes, you're hostile. Okay. I'll fight you. I don't know what level you are, but I'll fight you. Ow. There's another one of you? I actually am in need to go back to, um... I'm in need of going back to a town because I'm running out of the large health potions. I really need to get more of those. I have a lot of the small ones, which means I need to be healing a lot, like, quickly. Like, it's... Really? Okay, I don't want to fight you guys anymore. Stop throwing rocks at me. Yeah, just pretty much need to rem. Oh my gosh, Rock Spirit. Don't hit me with a rock. I don't want to kill you. Just let's both go our own separate way. You leave me alone. I'll leave you alone. Okay, here we are. I need a general goods merchant. There's got to be one here. Well, you're not a general goods merchant, but I will talk to you real quick. Just to get your knowledge. Uh, is there really not a general goods merchant here? Well, that's the big sad. There's really, really, really no general goods merchant. Okay, well, that's the big sad. All right, let's talk to Hawk and Dirk. Being able to work each and every day, that's something everyone should be thankful for. Hmm, an adventurer from the West. What brings you all the way out here? Uh, help intellectual that warned of danger. The giant came here not long after the incident. He warned me about the monsters and on how to deal with them. I think he's still around somewhere. Would you like to meet him? Last I heard, he was overlooking Omar Lava Cave uh, from somewhere high above. Let's see here. On Farid? Are you here to fight Farid? Watch out. That thing's covered in lava. Don't you worry. I... We can stop this. Okay, so... Did I just find myself a... Uh... Dailies, that's not what I want. Dailies, bunch of crap that I don't need. Okay. Um, so we want uninvited guests. That's the quest we're on. Uninvited guests. So we need to slay ferrids inside of Lava Cave. Wait, hold on. Did I not accept the quest from him? Oh, here we go. The cave you see in front of you leads to a giant natural furnace. There were once days when all of the re renowned blacksmiths across the continent gathered in Medea. They came from all over to make use of the scorching temperatures produced by the furnace. To forge many of the legendaries, weapons, and pieces of armor found in Medea. Those days are long gone. The three days of darkness ruined everything. It all began when a strange explosion occurred inside the cave, somehow creating a perfect environment for the aggressive goblins nearby to thrive in. The explosion also caused the heat from the furnace to rise to extreme levels, making it almost unbearable to perform any tasks. As a result, many of the blacksmiths had no choice but to leave. I wonder if those days of glory will return to Medea again, if only someone could get rid of some of the, these lava monsters inside the cave. I can do that for you, my dude. I can get rid of those lava monsters. Probably get slaughtered in some PvP action that I am ill-equipped for, but uh, I, I will get down here and slaughter people for you. Ferrid Tunny. Okay, dance. How much damage are you guys going to inflict on me? Like 300, probably? Probably just destroy my soul with how much damage you do. Actually, they're not really fighting me. Okay, if you guys just want to sit there and take it, I can appreciate that. Thank you. Can I... Come on. Let's kite. Come on, guys. I don't want to just kite you. Come, come and get it. You guys are really slow. Come, come on. They do, like, no damage. This is kind of good. They're, they're doing, like, 20 damage. There we go. There's seven down. Ferrid Tali... Ooh, we got bigger things. Ferrid Tio. Ferrid Tio. Hello, everybody. Can we all cluster here? I need I need all of you here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come on. Come on. Let me hit all of you at the same time. You guys suck. You guys just can't let me hit multiple of you at the same time. Y'all gotta run away or back up. Come here. Stop backing up. Stop being the way you are, you ferrets. I, 
don't want to be in the lava. That just sounds horrible. Can you get out of the... Bro, can you get out of the lava? Fine, I'm coming in. Coming in. You're dying. You're dead. Alright, so we are... I didn't even get credit for that one kill, so... We're still at 14. 16. This should be 17. If you would die, there's 17. Can you not kill these ferret tollies in time? I don't think you can kill the ferret tollies in time before they blow themselves up. Is there one behind me? Yeah, there is. Okay, we're at 18. These enemies are not nearly as bad as the Kalish or the Serendian Shrine guys. Those guys, not only did they hit hard, they took a billion hits to kill. These things take a lot to kill, but they they don't they don't hit for like a freaking truck. Some of those enemies in the shrine hit for like 300 damage. It was like insane. I do like that we're finding new enemies. Like we're not these aren't the same like we're not rehashing enemies. These are like brand new enemies. Silver coins, that's new. Still at I need to stop attacking the freaking tollies. They they don't give you they don't count because they blow up before you can actually kill them. Oh, did I kill that one and get credit for it? I think I killed one and got credit for it. That's an epic victory. Ooh, here we go. Triple kill. There we go. That gets us to 27. This will get us to 28. Please tell me there's one behind me. That'd be fantastic. Nope. Okay, so we'll kill this one, and then we gotta go find one more. Yeah, these things don't hit hard at all. It's like perfect storm. What are the silver coins? I wanna check this out. Um, I guess they're just silver coins overall. Okay. I thought they might be different, but it looks like they're just silver coins overall. Okay. Let's find one more. Hello, oh, it's a ferret tolly. Here, ferret Tio, come here. Come here, buddy. So you gotta die for me. You're my 30th kill. Come here. The Tio's back up. It makes them hard to kill. Okay. Can I... Oh, I actually have to go back outside to turn this in. So this will probably be the final thing we do in this episode. Can you auto-path for me, please? Wow, we killed 30 of those things... Wow, we're at the ultra grind level-wise, which I like, which I like. I'm not complaining. I'm happy about that. But we're at the ultra grindy part of this game where um, levels are, are going to be difficult. That was like, I don't know, that was like six minutes of farming for 1%. So like 10% is an hour. It's going to take you 10 hours if you farm those things. Maybe. I don't know. That That's probably exaggerating, but... That's a lot of farming still. No matter how you slice or dice it, it's still going to be a lot of farming. Okay. Hawk and Dirk. I don't believe it. You really managed to push those, push through the scorching heat to enslay those monsters. That's the farthest anyone has gone into the cave since the ferrets turned up. I know I might be asking too much uh, considering it's the first time we've met, but can you help me out on an, help an old, help an old man one more time? You've done a great job killing those ferrets, uh, but the cave is still too hot for us to do anything in there. If nothing is done to lower the temperatures within the cave, none of the workers will ever be able to return. But you may be able to help us. We finally figured out the formula for a coolant that might cool down the caves. The temperature should start to drop once you pour it over the lava pits. Okay. So in the next episode, we will do uncontainable heat, but uh, that's going to do it for this one, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. Drop it a big old like if you did, subscribe if you have not, and check back tomorrow for the next episode. Peace.